All right, friends, back into Google Drive so we can do some more with Google Slides. I'm going to find my slideshow again. Make another copy. That way I don't mess up what I had done before. Go into my new copy and change the name. So on this one, we're going to work on um, putting in pictures. So I have my text box. I want to put a picture with it. So I can do that by clicking on this little mountain picture right here, insert an image. If I have something on my computer that I want to upload, I could do that. If I want to search the web, I can do that. Now, one really nice thing about using um, all of the Google tools that we have is that it will only show you images that are free. Now, that's great in that it's not going to be illegal for you to use it, which if you just go to a Google search, it could be a, an image that you're not allowed to use and you are illegally borrowing it that without permission. If you do the search inside Google, it will only show you images that you are legally allowed to use, um, but that may that will limit some things. So you may not find a specific um, copyrighted image because it's copyrighted and you're not allowed to use that in your slideshow. So let's pretend I want to do a slideshow about kittens because why not? So I'm going to search for a picture of kittens that I like. There we go, that looks awesome. I can get it in there several ways. I can click on it and click insert at the bottom of the screen or click and drag or double click. Any of those will get my picture into my slideshow. I'm gonna change what my words say because they no longer match my picture. There we go. Look at these cute kittens. They are pretty awesomely cute. I'm going to change the size of my box so that I can make the kittens bigger. I always go to the corner of the picture when I'm wanting to make it bigger or smaller. Watch what happens if I go to the side of the picture. If I go one of the edges of the picture and I make it smaller, and now that does not look like the kittens that they looked like before. I can go to the bottom and do the, oh, no, that's not good. So notice when I do that, I click this button right here that's undo. Anytime I make a mistake, undo, and it will go back to the way it was before. If you make a mistake, stop and undo immediately. Don't wait because there's only so many times you can click undo before it doesn't work anymore. So make sure you um, do that um, at the beginning when you first make a mistake. There we go, inserting an image, that's all.